evening, everybody. Good afternoon. Good morning, wherever you might be. I'm Marva B. Welcome to the Black Link Experience. I am the CEO and founder of Black Link Magazine, and we have 85 Royalty with us, you guys. Let's give him a warm welcome. Welcome, Royalty. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing well. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you. We really do. And we're so excited for what you have going on in your in the music world and, and with, with your music. And we just want to talk a little bit about that and talk a little bit about 85 Royalty, okay? Yes, ma'am. Well, first off, I am 85 Royalty. Um, I am a songwriter, rapper, uh, indie artist. Um, I dabble in graphic design, photography, and engineering at times. Not really my, not not my forte, but I yeah. get into it though. Yeah, awesome. So tell me, where did eighty five royalty come from? Was there a meaning behind that, or just to uh, it's, it's it's my my birth year. So uh, <laughs> yeah, eighty five my birth year royalty. Uh, we are. I feel like we are derived, derived sorry from uh, kings and queens. So. Yes, ma'am. 85 Royalty. I love that. I love that. I knew it had to be some type of meaning behind it. I, I couldn't wait to ask you about that. <laughs> I want to um, I want to shout out uh, DJ Swap Thing. Um, yes, ma'am. That's my guy. That's, that's my guy, too. And <laughs> he's, also, he's amazing. He's amazing. And he connected us. And I'm so thankful that he did. We want to get to know who you are. We want to hear about you. We want to hear your music. We want to follow you. We want to support you. And so he made that happen. So, so yes, shout, out to him. shout out to that guy. I love him. Yeah. So let's talk about music with you. What at what point did you know that you wanted to do music and what inspires you with the music? Um. I think I, I, I've always been into music. I've always been a music head. Um, when I was 16, I really got into music heavy. Um, I had a friend and all he did was walk around and freestyle all the time. He just, man, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. And it, it was, you know, it was trendy. It wasn't my thing at the time. Right. But over time, I, I kept running to guys that were music heads like that, that just like, man, you should like do this. It's an expression, you know, the art form is an expression. And um, as I got older, um, probably like a senior in high school, I started really writing rhymes and being expressive, letting it all out. So that that's that's pretty much where I I get that from. Yeah. Um, inspiration comes from anything, you know. It's it's life. Life is a big inspiration itself. So right. I'm all for it. Yeah, I'm here for it too. And I love it, and and music in particularly because it is an outlet, it is, it is an expression. Um, and so, and I think that everybody on any level can relate to music. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, and, I, and that's why I'm so in tune to, to music. The other thing that I'm in tune to is, the, is um, independent artists because, and let me tell you why, Black Link Magazine, yes, we have celebrities, you know, come, we have regular everyday people come, but I feel like the artist, the, the artist needs to have the attention because, because without the artist, other people can't do their thing, right? As far as if they're, you know, promoting for an artist. So they have to have you to, to, to relay that. So I'm into independent artists. What do you say to independent artists that are up and coming that really feel like they don't have a place like they feel like they um, they're less important. What do you tell them? Um, for anybody that, that's on a journey, um, want, wanting to be in, in the entertainment industry at all, no matter what it is, just um, take your time, perfect your craft, and keep grinding. Like never give up. Stay true to yourself, and it it all work out, man. You just got to connect with the right people. And they're going to be roadblocks at times. It's going to be a lot of roadblocks, actually. But, you know, you got to stay motivated, keep your head up, and you'll eventually run to the right people that got your best interests at heart. Yeah. 85 Royalty, what, in, what inspires you or encourages you to keep your head up? Because we're human. And when we have those rough times, we, you know, we tend to want to give up. Like I, for me, it's tough in the magazine business. A billion people do a magazine. A billion people want to be a rapper, right? And it gets a little tough. What, what do you, what makes you or motivates you to keep going? Um, motivation would just be, I, I feel like I have a story to tell. I think everyone has a story to tell. 
And as long as, you know, you keep that in mind and um, if you're not in it for like the glit and glamour side of it, because I think a lot of people are, they think it's fast money, but it's, it's not. And um, if you just keep that in mind, like I say, stay true to yourself. And if you got a support system behind you that believe in you, and you, I think you'll go far in this game. That, that, that's what keep me motivated. Yeah, I love, love that you said everyone has a story because everybody walking this earth has a story. We have gone through something, good or bad. We have a story to tell. And that's what makes us unique and mm -hmm. separate, set apart from everybody else because nobody's story is like 85 royalty. Right. Nobody's story is like Black Link Magazine, Marvel B. Right. Right. So I think that you're right. We have to keep pushing because our story, we don't, we can't please everybody. We're not going to reach everybody, but it's right. gonna be that one person that we're going to reach. And so that's okay. why I feel like we should keep going on. Do you say to, would you rather be an independent artist or would you rather be linked up with a label? Oh man, this is a, this is a, this is a two-sided coin here. Um, so Indie, if you stay indie, you get the right promotion, man. You keep a lot of your money, yeah. you know. Um, but I, I do think at some point you will need a machine behind you, a label, even if it's just a trial, like for like one project, because they they got you know further reach and they they got they got more networking abilities than you would as an indie artist. So I I, I me myself, I would want to be indie and then reach that that level where I I signed to a machine it, like I said for at least a, a album or two and see where it gets me. I like that so what do you tell younger guys coming up behind you because I know that you're on your way and you have a path and I read your bio love it and I can see why you're connected to DJ Swamp Thing he's a good guy and I just loved what was said about you in your bio and I'm like these are good guys that he's sending to me like why can we push push you know out what they're doing what do you say to young guys coming up behind you let me tell you why and I say it every time I have a son that's 18 wants to get in the business he is heart that's his passion. Me as mama bear saying, mm, nope, music, the music business is grimy and messy, you know, <laughs> you don't do it, but he's so passionate about it. He respects me, but he has to reach for his dreams. Yes, what are you telling him about this music business? If you're being honest. Um, like you said, it is grimy. Uh, like I said earlier, there are a lot of roadblocks in this game. Um, it's going to be a lot of people trying to come up off of you. You know, it's, it's not about what they can do for you. It's about what you can do for them. And that's a that's a, a lot of people like that. And you just got to weed them out. Like, if you're a good person, like I said, eventually you're going to run into the right people. You just keep your head up, keep working hard. Um, me, myself, personally, I ran into a lot of the wrong people. You know, guys like, man, I could take you here. I could do this for you. I could do that for you. But at the end of the day, they want that money. That's all they want, money, 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 money. And, like, this game is, uh, it's to me, it's pay for play. I say that a lot. Um, it's paid for play. So you, you, you know, you're not going to get anywhere based on talent alone. You got to put money, whether it's behind you or into something, but you got to pay for it. But a lot of guys, they're going to want that money up front and then they're going to want that money off you too, just to say like, yo, I got you on stage, you know? And honestly, it, it's, it's like that, but it ain't like that. And I, and the other side of that is like, you mentioned Swamp. I linked up with Swamp through Instagram. Mm -hmm. Um, me and Swamp chopped it up. Uh, he listened to my music and then he decided like, you know, he genuinely wanted to work with me. He was a believer in my music. And I like that about him, like after the conversations and stuff. So with, with what Swamp does, and I, I, I listened to the interview with between you two mm -hmm. and what he does is he provides a service and, you know, you got to pay for that. That's where the pay for play thing is. But after after that was up, me and Swamps, so we still rock together, you know? Like we 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 built that connection. Yeah. And there's a friendship there, you know, like it's not just business. Yes. So like your son, I like I say, for your son or anybody trying to get into the entertainment industry, man, you just gotta link yourself with good people, surround yourself with good people that have your genuine interests at heart mm -hmm. and everything will work out, I believe. Um when you're a good person, 
you it's almost like, yeah, you will run into those bad people. And this may be a conversation DJ Swamp and I, Swamp Thing and I had, but you'll run into those people. But the good ones, those those genuine people will be like a magnet. You will, you mm-hmm. will, those ones that are good will stick. Those ones that are not genuine are gonna kind of fall off because you're gonna see eventually that it's not good. Whether that means you learn from a lesson that they got you, you know, or they just like you like, oh, it's something about I can't, I can't do this. Right. You know, that negative energy. Yeah. People feed off, people feed off energy anyway. And I, I'm a big energy person myself. Yeah. So if if we meet or we link or whatever, and I just feel like the vibes are off, yeah. I I, I kind of distance myself from jump. Yeah. Now you may have people that slip through the cracks and they, you know, disguise themselves, wolves in sheep clothing. Yeah. But you know, eventually their their, their true face will show. Yeah. You know, whether it be uh in their work ethic or their business practice or anything yeah. like that, it'll show. Time will tell. And you know, you gotta you gotta weed yourself, you gotta weed them out, distance yourself from them. What about performing live makes you just hype? What makes you <laughs> what makes you just go there and like we you know you raising the roof now, like you say? <laughs> what what is it about that? Um crowd reaction. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, like my, yeah. my my very first time performing, I forgot the words. And I just kind of like, yeah, my very first time, I was just like, oh, what do you man. do? What do you do? I, I walked off stage. I was so embarrassed, but <laughs> I walked off stage. I, I but and it was crazy because um, my friend was just like, man, no one even knew like you messed up. Like you could have just kept going, but I knew yeah. I messed up. Yeah, yeah, you know. But it's um, ever, ever since that ever since that day, I just like, I, I fell in love with it. That made me fall in love with it. And um, I performed in Japan in about, at about, I think it was like 2018, 2019. Did you? Yes, ma'am. Wow. And to, to see people that, you know, really don't speak my language, um, just like rock out to my songs, like bought my songs and then come up to me and just like, that's incredible. That's nice. That's dope. That's dope. That, that's a great feeling. So I feed, I feed off that. I love that feeling. So what was your greatest lesson in that? Because I'm told you just keep pushing. You just keep going. Because a lot of times the whole crowd won't even know that you messed up. What's your, learn, what's your lesson you learned out of that? Right. It, it's just to keep going. Um, you fumble, man. Just pick it back up and keep running with it. Yeah. You, just, you can't quit on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Even if you do find yourself in a situation like I was in, I just kind of, like I said, I walked off stage. Yeah. Um, you can't beat yourself up over it too long. You know, you gotta, you gotta get back on the horse, keep riding. So that's, that's what I did. Yeah. And I ask you that because we all, um, fail at something at some point in our lives, but I think in every situation, it's a learning lesson. Like mm-hmm. what did I learn from that? I always want to stay learning. The questions that I'm asking you are just meant to, for people that are going to be listening, like my son, like those around him that want to get, that really are serious about getting into the business. Because like you said earlier, the glitz and the glamour is what people go for. And a lot of times if you're in it for the glitz and, glitz and the glamour, you don't, you probably won't make it in the business. What do you say about that? I think that's true. Um, if, if someone come to you and offer you fast money and then you in it for the glitz and the glamour, you're going to take that fast money. You're going to take that quick money. Not really knowing what comes with that money. You know, like it could be something tied to it, whether you in like a, a bad label contract or, you know, that's just money up front. You got to pay that money back on the back end. Mm. It's a lot of stuff to it. So that's why I say if you in it for the glitz and the glamour, you know, more power to you. Can't knock you for it. Yeah. But I, I'm, I'm going to stay true to myself, true to my heart. And it, when the time is right, then we sign the contracts, that paperwork, and we move forward from there. But, you know, I got a story to tell, like I say, and I just want to be heard. So that's why I'm in this. Let's, let's kind of switch the, the tone just a little bit, uh, just a little bit. I want to talk about your writing. When you're writing, where are you at? Is it your life? The, the life you live and do you have to get in a secluded place? How do you do that? No, nah, I, I hear uh, my, my writing process is of, um, I go with the beat. If I'm, if I, if I hear an instrumental and I'm really feeling it, no matter what it is, then I try to tie that to life. 
Gotcha. Um, so I have a song, 3 a.m. That's out right now. Yes. And I heard the beat, wrote the hook, and then I kind of came back to it a couple years later. But it, it's just that's a true story. It's about me and my now girlfriend. Mm-hmm. You know, um, trying to touch a million is another one where it's like I don't have a million dollars, but man, that's what I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to touch a million. You know, trying to get there. Yeah. I, I have I have personal songs like. Um, while I was I was struggling with relationship problems yeah. or, you know, drinking problems and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Like I, I feel like those are the stories that should be told. Oh wow. Yes, ma'am. And listen, you are you just made chills go through me because even though you're rapping, it's a it's rap, it's music, you're still helping other people because you're telling your experience. And I was, I was floored by my son so young of way before 18, he's been doing it, you know, and the stories he was telling that maybe he didn't sit down and talk to me about, but it came out in his music. And like you said, like you in a relationship or you in, and it's real life stuff. And I think that's when you can give your best in it because you walked in that, right? It's not something you grabbed out mm-hmm. of the side, you walked in that and mm-hmm. you're able to help people. Yes, ma'am. Talk to DJ Swamp Thing. I, I hate to keep bringing him up, but I can't help it. I, <laughs> and he's so likable. <laughs> he's so lovable. That's my boy, for real. Um, and we just met. We met on Instagram and see how relationships work. But even through this technology, you can tell who are good people. Yes, ma'am. So we talked about um, helping others. And it's all about helping others. It's not about the glitz and glamour. It's not about me making all this money. It's if I can help somebody... That's what I want to do. And if it's mm-hmm. tell my story through rap, public speaking, whatever, then that's what I do. So just wanted to share that really quick. So then you talked about graphics. What, what do you do with the graphics that you just kind of play in? So something separate? <laughs> yeah, it's just something separate. I, 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 I got a thing. I got a thing for photography. I really like photography. Oh, okay. So, yes, ma'am. So I take like a lot of my own photos and stuff like that. For social media and stuff. Oh, um, do you do it online photo shoots? Could you work it? I I, I, I can. I, I have I have the equipment and stuff for it. Like that's one thing I do. I do invest in myself. So if I like it, I, I invest in myself for it. It's happened to you for a photo shoot for my son, just for the heck of it, to see. You know, I'm with that. I'm with that. Okay, we'll do that. Um, it'll be it'll be a few months. He's he's out of town. He's on. He's traveling. Um, and so once he's done with all that, we got some connections for him. But anyway, yes, there. So then I want to talk about. I want to. I want to ask, what are you other than your what you're doing currently with? Uh, is it is three a.m. your latest? That's that's uh, it ain't the latest. Trying to touch a mill is the latest, but they, yeah. they came out. They came out like a month or or so. Okay. Okay. Yes, What's in the plan for you? What do you see yourself? three months down the line, a year from today? Like, where do you, where, what is your goal? What are your goals? Um, That's crazy. I, I just talked about this too. Um, So right now, uh, I know a lot of people, they do, they have nine to fives and they try to do this stuff on the side. Um, me, myself, right now, I'm focusing on this full-time. Yes. I decided to give music a full-time try. Wow. For about six months. Yes, ma'am. So um, in six months, I, I can't say that I'll have a deal. My, my goal would be to at least sit in front of a label to know I'm moving in the right direction. Yeah. Um, like I said, I don't I don't have to go in there and talk numbers or anything like that. I just want to, hey, we, we hear you. We acknowledge that, you know, you're making moves and we're following. That's all I want, yeah. you know. Um, so that's, that's, that's really it for me, uh, just to build this fan base and, and keep moving in the right direction. Right. I feel like it's very brave of you to say, okay, you know what? I'm going all in for something that I love. We, so often we stay in positions of nine to five because we're scared to step outside the box. We really are not happy with that. And what we really love, our craft, our create, our creative side is what we really love, but we're scared to step outside the box. So kudos to you for doing that. And you're an example Thank you. to others that say, you know what, if you if you want this thing, go all in. And that's what you're doing. Yes, ma'am. 
What do you say about the social media following? Let me help you what I mean. <laughs> because like that seems to be the big deal, right? But when I talk to people in high places, they're saying, yeah, they're telling us to go after these numbers and chase these numbers, but, but that's the new school way is getting these. Cause back in the day we had to work for it. We had to prove ourselves. We had to really, you know, grind for it. So yeah, while we're doing new school stuff, you still got to have that old school feel in it too. What do mm -hmm. you think about that? If I'm being honest, I hate social media. Oh my God, <laughs> I have to do it. I'm not lying. I, I hate it. I hate everything that comes with it. Yeah. Um, it's too much clout chasing and oh, people doing God. stupid stuff for attention. So I'm not for it. But like you say, the people in high places say we got to have it. We got to do it. It's, it's a great marketing tool. Yeah. I will say that. Yeah. Um, so I, I prefer to grind it out the old school way, though. Yeah. You know, really hit the ground running. Um you know, CDs ain't in no more, so you can't just press up CDs right. and sell them like a truck. Yeah, no yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's ways around it now, though. Yeah. So with the whole social media thing, um, you can do TikTok. That's something else I stay away from too. <sighs> Me, I prefer I prefer the <laughs> merch game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, and I I don't know. I I could say I don't have time for. It. I do, but I just I yeah. stick to my Instagrams. I I rather try the the merchandise approach, honestly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, Press up some T-shirts, mm -hmm. um, just hand them out, man. You know, you know, you ain't got to sell them. Just hand them out uh, with like a, a business card type thing. Hey, this is all the links you can find me here. You know, yeah. If, if they want to follow, they follow. Because uh, to me, it's the same thing with social media. That to me, that that goes hand in hand with social media because I can follow you, and people will be like, "Hey, yo, listen to my songs or whatever. Yeah. Check me out, blah blah." blah. Okay. Man, you know. No guarantee I'm gonna do it. Right. People will follow you. People will follow you because the numbers look good. Right. But I mean, what's 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 five thousand followers if only twenty of them really listen to you? So you know, you're so right. Listen, I was not even the, the, an Instagram person, but because I was pushing this magazine, pushing, I mean it about my magazine. That's my baby, right? I was, I'm on Instagram constantly posting, posting. I'm like, do I really have to do this? But I leveled up from it. I leveled mm -hmm. up from it. And I'm like, you, I, I don't like the grimy. I'm not a drama filled person. I don't like that. And I will ignore it. All I'm out here doing is trying to push Black Link magazine and do it mm -hmm. in a positive way. And for I, God first for me, God first in everything I do. It's so it's like, they say, okay, but you got to be on Instagram. You got to be on Twitter. You got to be on all those social media sites. So I was like, okay, uh, let me learn TikTok. Let me stay in the know and stay doing that, but still the, some of that old school flavor. Mm -hmm. I have t-shirts and merch, like you said. So by the way, if you press up some t-shirts, send me one. I'll wear it on my interviews and post it on my oh, website. Yeah. For sure. Yes, yeah. ma'am. I'll do that. So let me know. Um, so anyway, yeah. So I was just curious what you felt about the social media thing. Cause for me, it's a pain um, <laughs> for my kid. He loves it. He'll do it. He's the young, you know, he does it and he gets his numbers some kind of way. Um, but I'm just like, Oh gosh, for a man, <laughs> I really have to do this. Yeah. Right. Anyway, anyway, so I'm going to, we're going to wrap up here. Uh, may I ask you to please leave with, for those that are really serious, about this music thing or anything they're doing, what are you gonna leave with them? Uh, be true to yourself. Stay true to yourself. Mm, big one. Follow, follow your heart. Um, just don't quit. Honestly, there there are gonna be a lot of people that um, a lot of people that won't support you, especially people close to you. Ooh. They 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 won't support you. Not at all. But you will have outsiders, people you never never talk to never met before they 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 will support you and that's that's the good feeling once once that starts happening man you know you're doing something right you are speaking nothing but the truth and i'm a living witness like people love me you know they 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 they, they cool but and they say they support me but when i look at my support these people i'm like i don't have a clue who they are mm -hmm. and support me to the core like every time i post something they own it they own it they own it mm -hmm. and i'm thankful for that right so we can't get mad at people that don't support us. Our dreams are not their dreams. Right. Our mission is not their mission. 
We just have to keep pushing. And if only you support you, that's what matters. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. I and did. Thank you so much <laughs> for being here. Like, I, you made me feel so good. And nah, thank, I, you. thank you. Um, I look forward to you rising to the top. Just who you are is going to take you far. And you stay true to who you are. Keep yes, surrounding ma'am, you too. Yourself. Yes, keep surrounding yourself with good people like DJ Swamp Thing. You going to be all right. We and you too, what you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, and Black Link too. You right. don't, See, don't forget about us over here. Yes, ma'am. I appreciate that. Very we good. all in it. We all in this together. We hustling to get to the top. And like you say, we just gotta support each other. That's all. Dude, we're gonna tell make. them where they can find you on all your social media sites. Uh, yes, ma'am. Mostly on Instagram. That's where I'm at. <laughs> at 85 Royalty. That's where you can find me at. Um, if you want to check my SoundCloud for some of my older stuff, yeah. 85 Royalty also. Uh, search Apple Music, Spotify, title, all that stuff. 85 Roy T. I'm there. That's me. 85, and it's R O Y A L T E E. Yes, Don't ma'am. Forget it. Don't forget <laughs> it. All right, you guys, we're going to get out of here for now. Go support our brother. Let's help each other out. We're going to get out of here for now. Remember, respect yourself and respect others. God bless.